Some local cities have already banned plastic bags, but state lawmakers are planning to introduce a bill in Olympia next year that would make it statewide. Allison Morrow is our environmental reporter. We kind of wanted to get your insight on this. So can you give us a little bit of an overview why plastic in general is such an environmental concern? Well, it's a main concern for marine debris. Mm. So I wrote down that 8 million metric tons of plastic are making its way to the ocean every year, which is the weight of nearly 90 aircraft carriers. So that's the main problem. Oh but we have other issues that go into creating alternative bags. So where the debate comes down to is input, output, and application of your reusable bag versus your plastic bag and pick your poison. Mm -hmm. Are you more concerned with greenhouse gases or fertilizers or water use or water pollution when it comes to chemicals? Or are you more concerned with the actual debris, which is the problem with plastic bags, ultimately is the output. But I learned this cool phrase today, life cycle analysis, which I had never heard of before. So instead of just looking at the problem at the end of the life of this object, look at it from the very beginning from creation all the way through how the consumer uses it and then how the consumer disposes of it and that's where plastic bags actually in some cases are seen to be better for the environment than reusable bags Why? which is hard to believe yeah, right so well it's it basically boils down to uh, what you, goes into creating a reusable bag for instance not many of us have a organic cotton bag but right. if you had an organic cotton bag you'd have to use it 149 times more than a plastic bag in order for it to equal the greenhouse gases that went into creating it. And if you include fertilizer, water, and ecosystem impacts, you'd have to use that same organic cotton bag 20,000 times what? for it to equal a plastic bag. So we basically have oversimplified the, the issue by saying, it's just plastic bags, get rid of the plastic bags. Exactly, because it ultimately comes down to application. That's why I learned from this sustainability strategist. I hope I don't say her name wrong, but Layla Akaroglu. I saw her on a TED talk and I looked up, she has this whole uh, sustainability college that revolves around looking at these perspectives differently so that you don't create more problems. Okay, we have some text messages I wanted to get to, getting some great ones from viewers since this story came out. This first one, why in the world in this day and age of technology can't we figure out a way to make biodegradable, biodegradable plastic bags? That's Darren in Tacoma. Okay, so great answer to this question. As I did some research, the first thing is that uh, that has been tried by certain, um, like Sun Chips, I think actually tried this mm. at one point for packaging, because actually when it comes to plastic pollution, plastic bags are actually low on the list when it comes to like plastic bottles, or wrapping papers that so are those are worse exactly okay. that, that just ends up being more uh, volume mm -hmm. in in the marine environment um, but they tried it and guess why they stopped it because consumers didn't like how it felt so this brings us back to how are you as a consumer going to use whatever it is that you have bought or taken right. and so application 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 is what I keep reading about it's up to us ultimately even if it's a plastic bag or a cotton bag how are you using it and are you being responsible with it in a way that reduces your own environmental impact? Let's get to our next text question, which I really think is super interesting. Instead of banning plastic bags, why don't we penalize people who litter or do not recycle the plastic bags properly? And yes, plastic bags are recyclable and reusable, which is speaking to the point you've been making. Right. Well, we already do have litter laws. There are mm -hmm. fines for littering. I see people litter all the time. I was walking my dog the other day. A person literally stopped right at the stop sign and just tossed their plastic uh, Coke container out of the wall of the of the car and just drove on by. What am I supposed to do? You know, <laughs> write down their license plate and are the police going to go after me? It's just that's a great idea, but it's just not really super enforceable. So it's finding people and reporting them, I mean, that's a great idea, but when it comes to logistically how that works out, it's just not not feasible. So what is, in your opinion, the single most impactful thing that we can be doing right now? The number one most important thing that a consumer can do is to not ever use something one time unless it's like a sanitary issue, mm -hmm. right? The problem really comes down to whether it's clothes or bags or anything else that you're not just basically eating, right. is use it multiple times because if you use it several times, like your clothes, mm -hmm. don't, I have a friend who throws away her shirt after she wears it once. It just, I don't even what? know how, we're frenemies now. <laughs> <laughs> we're frenemies. Even it, it is. It's just like really ultimately, it's like when you make purchases, try to purchase, just consume less and what you do consume, try to use it as much as possible and make the impact that went into creating that object worth it. And I believe our own Jordan question. has a question. Yes, yes, you in the back. So Thank you, thank you. Um, so if 
we're trying to, if plastic bags aren't all that bad, how do we remove the plastic from entering the oceans? Well, so that's another issue that I started reading up about today. And it comes to disposal. Uh, it's upscaling disposal um, for municipalities. And that's why the United States actually were 20th on the list of plastic polluters. But the top five represent 60 percent of the marine plastic pollution. And they're almost all in Asia. So wow, you no. and actually we use more plastic per person than other countries in the world. But because we have better disposal, we don't have the same kind of pollution problem. Oh so it's a, it's really worldwide. Yeah. And then we this lady together. also said, what if we gave people instead of having one or the other plastic or paper? What if we gave people another option? So started creating something that had less impact either way. Mm -hmm. And yeah. right now, designers are being left with that task. That's so interesting. Yeah. So we have, this is obviously a very yeah. nuanced topic that we're gonna get more into. Allison is sticking around. We're gonna ask her some more questions in our five o'clock show. You can text your questions in or post them in the Five Hive. And if you want more information about this story, you can text the keyword plastic to the number you see on your screen there. Jordan? Thank you.